MIA for a while, so in case you couldn't guess from the fact that I haven't been around, things have been crazy around here. I'm redoing the whole space. We thought we were gonna have to move. We managed to work things out with the owner, but it was not easy and it took months and I was like terrified that like my whole life was gonna fall apart. So anyway, you don't need to know that. You ever just like overshare on your YouTube channel because you figure nobody will ever watch it anyway and so you're just like I can just say whatever I want but then it comes back to bite you in the butt because like the one time you said something that you like hoped that nobody would hear it goes viral. I'm kinda hoping this one goes viral, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, super relatable. <laughs> Alright, that's not what we're here to talk about, not today. So today is the first in my holiday craft series, which I am actually shooting at Halloween. No pressure, but it's Halloween night and I have about an hour before trick-or-treaters start arriving and then I have to go out. I haven't even done my makeup, haven't even put on my costume. We've got to just do this craft so fast. The thing is, I know that during the holiday season, you are struggling with the same thing. You have a million things to do, but you still want to make a nice handmade gift or like gift cozy. <laughs> gift cozy is that what this is well anyway for someone so this is the craft for if you have like one hour and you need to get it done full disclosure this was supposed to be a video about us redoing this room but painting is hard and takes a very long time so it'll probably be a little while before that video comes out all right <laughs> why did i that's stupid all right, I know, I've stopped talking. It's so annoying, I'm wasting your time. Let's get started. The moment I started shooting this video, it became clear that my nails were too janky to be seen on camera. As a testament to how amazing this pattern is, the full time to create it, including doing my nails, was 20 minutes. Okay, let's begin with the spin traveling in the world of my creation. No, no, we're, we're gonna start with a slip knot. Throughout this video, I'm going to assume that you already know how to knit. It's not a you problem, it's a me problem. I am very bad at explaining things. Trust me, it will become readily apparent later on in the video. For this project, we're going to begin with a long tail cast on. Give yourself a big thumbs up, grab the yarn with your fingers, and then take your thumb and loop the yarn around it and then just stick it on your needle. Then you're going to wrap the yarn around the needle and put the yarn back on the needle like a little hat. Can you see what I mean about I'm bad at explaining things? Please look up somebody who knows how to teach a long tail cast on. For these short projects, I said to myself, there's no way this is taking less than an hour. Any of these are taking less than an hour for a beginner if they have a cast on of more than 10 stitches. So every single one of these projects, I gave myself a limit. It has to have a cast on of 10 stitches or less, which means we're about to cast on 10 stitches. The stitch we're going to be using here is a messy window pane stitch, which I'm going to do my best to explain. Basically, it's how little kids knit when they've only seen someone knit, they don't know how to do it right yet. You're going to knit the first stitch, pull it off the needle, and then put it back on the needle. And you're going to do that a few times. Effectively, what you're doing is using knitting needles to create kind of a crochet chain. This allows you to make a knitted fabric with really big airy holes in it, which looks really gorgeous for something like a bun holder or a scrunchie. In this case, you can use it as both. One time when I was in high school, this girl in one of my classes asked me to explain how I did my hairstyle. It was a braid with fabric woven through it. I was like, if this girl doesn't know how to braid hair, I don't know what to tell her because it's literally just a braid with the third strand being a piece of fabric. So stupid me, I was like, I don't know, I just did it. I'll always remember that as the day I could have made a new friend, but decided to be a complete asshat instead. So don't be an asshat and make this around five to seven inches long. This fabric is useful for many things. You can make one of those funky fishnets to hang stuff on above your desk, turn it into a fancy little wall hanging to hang all of your friends' photos on, the friends you made because you didn't say stupid things like, I don't know, I just did it when you were in high school, or stop distracting me, we are trying to make a scrunchie. Let's bind off, another thing that is super easy to explain. Basically, you just knit two stitches onto the other needle and then leapfrog one over the other one's head. I have to do this with my hands on these big needles because otherwise my stitches will slip off, but on smaller needles it's easy to do with your needle. I'm explaining this so poorly. Just knit a stitch, knit another stitch, leapfrog one over the other one's head, and 
your fabric will magically disappear off of your needles and become its own little happy little unit. I love this pattern because it doesn't matter if you messed up, whether you have a rectangle like mine or some funky little shape, you can just fold it in half and shove it over an already existing scrunchie that you've sewn or bought for a dollar at the buck store. Just sew the edges together and your scrunchie will look gorgeous, but I wanted to do a full open work scrunchie. So I'm going to take a sewing needle made for knitting, which means it has a really big hole and it's usually made of plastic, unless you want to get fancy and get yourself a, middle, a metal one, I'm not going to judge you. And you can just sew up the side of this while thinking about the fact that actually later on in high school, that same girl totally stole the guy you had a crush on and you really don't feel bad for her at all. Honestly, the two of you would probably never have become friends. Cue the legally licensed music. Grab a piece of elastic and shove it through your lacy tube and then tie it in a really, really, really tight knot so it doesn't come undone. Wonder if your out there hairstyles and funky clothes were maybe the reason people didn't date you. Like maybe her inability to do that hairstyle was the reason she got my crush. He was a simple man. He liked pretty dark haired women and breakfast food. I'm serious, tie this in an extremely tight knot. Otherwise it could come undone at some inopportune moment. You're in the middle of the ballet recital and just spraying and it goes in some other girl's face and you ruin Swan Lake. Not speaking from experience. Only because I took gymnastics, not ballet. And I rode horses. You don't want to hit a horse in the eye with this either. So just pull your knot really hard. Why do I sound like Darth Sidious there? Anakin, pull your knot really tight. That probably would have solved a lot of Anakin's problems. The one downside of this open weave fabric is that once you've looped it around your elastic or whatever, you're going to have to do this whole seam. I'm explaining this so well. You're gonna have to take this whole seam and sew it together. Normally you can just sew this flat on a sewing machine if you're using fabric, but when you're knitting, you just have to deal with this whole situation. It's really hard because it's kind of a weird hole and then everything's open work fabrics. So you can easily t put, sew the wrong hole together. So I kind of try and leave it open. It's, there, there's, there's no right way to do this. Just, just try and turn it into a scrunchie and not a weird ball. And that's it, you're done. Do you wanna see another adorable shot of it on somebody's head? Of course you do. Tell me, call you out, cause you